got mail. <gasps> Is this fake? Happy to report that it was not fake. Gaumon really did reach out to me and asked if they could send me their S630 tablet for free so I can review it. So here we go. Here's the box. Inside there's this warranty card, a card with the website link to download the driver and manual from, and the tablet itself, which is covered in these spaceship planet designs. Later in the video I make a warrior cat OC based off some of these little space doodles, so stick around for that. It also has these round rubber circle feet on the bottom so it won't slide around on your table. Look, more stuff! There's a really sturdy pocket for the pen nibs and pen, un 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 nibber, and this thing for the Android, which is a USB adapter, and the quick start guide. At first I thought this thing was a Bluetooth adapter, but unfortunately the Gaumon S630 does not have that. You have to connect it to your computer with the cord, which um, was kind of hidden in this little compartment here with a pen, which is battery free. And last thing is this bookmark. I bought the tablet for Amazon and Gaumon refunded me the money, so I don't think this is like a special gift because I'm a reviewer. Uh, so I guess if you get a Gaumon S630, you'll also get this bookmark. Nice. Let's take a closer look at all these things. The pen has this nice rubbery grip part where you hold the pen, which is pretty nifty, kind of gives you more stability for holding it. And according to Gaumon, it has 8192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity. Honestly, I don't know what that number means, but a cursory Google search tells me that it's pretty good. The eight pen nibs are hard plastic and it's easy to remove with the pen on nibber whatever it's called, and easy to click back in. Some of the little space designs on the edges of the tablet are faded. The center seems crisp and fine, though honestly the decor isn't of personal interest to me, so I don't really mind. It has a work area of 5 inches by 3.2 inches. It has four customizable buttons, 266 PPS. What? PPS? It's like the frequency at which the point of the stylus is red, and uh, the current standard is 200 PPS, so seems good. It has a sensing height of 10 millimeters, which is just how high up away the pen can be from the tablet before it can't sense it anymore. The pen resolution is 5080 LPI, which, uh, for comfortable work, this value must be at least 2000 LPI. So also looks good. And you can use it with Android OS, Mac OS, and Windows OS. This cable is about 155 centimeters long, which is plenty for me. Also, this Velcro that holds it together is like not spiky, like it's smooth. I know it's not super important, but I've never seen smooth Velcro and I just- I want to keep- I'm gonna keep touching it. The little instructional guide is short and concise, easy to follow. Page 1 is the different parts of the tablet. Page 2 has instructions for replacing the nib and a list of all the stuff in the box. I except for the Android USB adapter? I don't know why that's missing from the list. Page 3 has instructions for setting up the driver and tablet. And page 4 has instructions for setting up the tablet to use on Android phones, which you don't need to install the driver for. Let's connect the tablet to my computer. With this cord, which goes here. Um, beans, I can't do this with one hand. It's very secure. Not loose at all. Once it's connected, this little LED light will turn on. Installing time! Following the instructions on page 3, you go to this link. Find the name of your tablet, in this case it's the S630. There's multiple ones, but uh, I went with this one because I use Windows and I don't play Ozu. Up pops the administrator. And here's the driver. Side note, please heed their instruction to remove other brands' tablet drivers from your computer before you install theirs, because I was like... Pfft. It'll be fine. Having my Wacom tablet driver installed and then installing the Gaumon driver made both tablets and pens respond really weird, so I had to uninstall and reinstall both of them. So yeah, uh, save yourself the trouble. Stick with one brand's tablet driver at a time. I like being able to mess around with the pen pressure a bit. I still don't really know what moving the dots do, but I figured out that the upper left makes it super thick, lower right super thin, and anywhere on the diagonal is alright. So I put it on the diagonal on the slightly thicker upper right side. You can also customize the buttons on the pen, which I was bummed out to find that it didn't have a pan scroll feature like my Wacom pen driver did, because I rely on that feature a lot, so instead I had to use my keyboard spacebar to move around my canvas. The four buttons on the tablet are also customizable, but who oh boy, I, I do not like that they're up here. Why are they up here? I have to do weird reaching with my pinky or, or reach around with my left hand to get to these buttons. With my other tablet, the buttons are on the side, where my hand would usually rest naturally. It, this sucks! I finally figured out a setup where I had my left hand on a keyboard for switching between brush and eraser, which I already do, and use my thumb for both spacebar and zoom in and out with the buttons. And the pen buttons are undo and right click. I did make these two buttons undo and redo, but they were so awkward to reach that I just didn't touch these two buttons at all. I actually got really used to this setup, and it wasn't bad! But I feel like being unable to use the two buttons it comes with is still a downside, as it's kind of like a wasted function. 
You can flip the tablet orientation so the buttons are on the left, but it was really weird drawing on a vertical surface that maps out to a horizontal screen. Maybe the vertical setup would work for a phone though? Working on it is also kind of slippery, like I can't get a good grip on the tablet surface with the plastic on plastic, though the pen nib that came with my Wacom was also plastic, so I'm not sure why the Gammon one feels more slippery. But I also got new pen nibs for my Wacom pen that have these little like rubber bits on them so it can grip onto the tablet surface better, so maybe I'm just not used to it anymore. The drawing space seemed really small, but it wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Compared to my other tablet, they're actually really similar in size, with the Gammon S630 only occasionally feeling crammed widthwise. Yet my Wacom tablet is like way heavier! Like the S630 weighs nothing, it's only 168 grams and like pretty thin. Thank god, because now I can bring a tablet that doesn't weigh a bunch on my hour-long transit to school. Now here's the speed paint part of the video. I closed my eyes and randomly chose three little designs from the tablet's cover and one from the bookmark to use as my inspiration pieces. For those who don't know, one of my commissions are Warrior OC designs I make from three uh, inspiration pieces. I design a Warrior OC based on the inspiration pieces provided and make some notes on their personality and story. This drawing portion is 900% sped up, by the way. I was so bamboozled by how much I needed to speed it up. Because the bookmark guy is running hurriedly, I also wanted to draw this character kind of running. I gave them a bunch of curls from this cloud and some spiky bits on the tail from this spiky ball. incorporated the light bulb shape in the muzzle marking. Leg markings are all from Bookmark Guy. Stripes are from the spiky ball and light shine things from the bulb. And this tail marking is from the cloud. I also added some ear tufts from the light bulb because I noticed they look like ear tufts. And little dots both from the light bulb shine and bookmark guy's sweat droplets. General coat color was brown because it's like dark plus orange equals brown. And I gave them orange eyes because of bookmark guy and a blue gray eye for the other tablet cover ones. And I added little leg stripes for the light bulbs, the twisty bottom part. Here I am thinking of a name and settled on Strawshine. Wind Clan because Bookmark Eye's running. And now I'm getting into the story writing personality stuff. Sometimes I'll look at the inspiration pieces to think up ideas for the story parts, but mostly I just look at the vibes of the character I just drew. I ended up skipping past most of this footage though because, uh, this part is mostly a lot of a lot of thinking and doing nothing and thinking and, and nothing and and thinking and, and thinking and doing nothing and thinking and nothing and, and thinking and nothing and thinking and nothing and, and thinking and thinking and nothing until I eventually get an idea. <laughs> so I I, I kind of skipped through most of this footage. Trust me, it's just a lot of this. And here's Strawshine. I hope you liked seeing my process behind making these warrior OCs. Here's a final little summary of my thoughts on using the Gammon S630 tablet. By the way, I've never used any other drawing tablet except my Wacom tablet, 
so maybe keep in mind my limited knowledge of drawing tablets. I think this tablet would be good for beginners as it's pretty affordable and easy to set up. It was $55.99 CAD, which is around $43.69 USD. It's also very good if you plan on traveling around with a drawing tablet as it's super small and lightweight. The other things Gavin said I could show is that it's compatible with Android phones, but I don't have one, and that it's good with rhythm games like Osu, which <laughs> I'm not a gamer, so I'm not gonna do that. This was mostly a joke, but actually I think I've learned that maybe the slipperiness is good for Osu, because I could slide around to get to the circles faster. Eh. I'm so clueless about recording gaming footage, because I literally didn't record the audio when I tried this the first time. Yeah. No audio for a sound-based rhythm game. I also didn't know that it just doesn't let you keep going if you fail. <laughs> God, I didn't realize they, they they stop you from proceeding if you failed. Heckin' Bruto Osu. Gaman asked me to mention that the S630 has a coupon code, GM-S630, which you can use on their website to get it for 15% off. I put this link in the description box below as well. Thank you again to Gaman for sending me the tablet, and thank you all so much for supporting me in my arts. Four tablets, four tablets.